Hi guys. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about using the text tool and spacing your fonts appropriately within the lines of whatever document you're using and whatever um, <laughs> Alexa is talking to me um, or whatever uh, app you're using, whatever font you're using. Okay. Because I think there's a common misconception out there that you can, when anytime you're using the text tool, um, that when you, when you type something, it's just going to automatically space perfectly in the lines of whatever document you're using. And that isn't true. You do have to do it yourself. And, um, so I'm going to show you, uh, what to do. So first of all, now this applies, I'm working in GoodNotes, but it would work in no, you know, whatever app you're using, the concept is the same. Okay. Um, it's best to choose a default font, like choose a font that you're going to use time and time again. If you do a ton of, if you do it, this is, if you do a ton of like writing, um, if you're just like doing one-offs, it really doesn't matter. Um, but like for me, so if, uh, I do a lot of typing now. I never used to, I used to handwrite mostly. Um, and I do like, uh, in my planner, but I, when it comes to most other things, I do type. So uh, pick a font, choose your size, and the document that you're going to use it most in, okay? Um, and if you are a customer of mine, you know I talk about this a lot, especially when I'm going through my planner and notebook walkthroughs because I try to keep everything uniform since series 2.1 in my notebooks. So whether you're in a notebook or you're in one of my planners, you can copy and paste information and it's just going to transfer nicely maintaining that perfect spacing line height. Okay. Um, so for me, I have chosen my default font is give me time. I got it on uh, Defont. The, the font size that works for me for what I'm using is 35. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to write hello. My name is Erica. All right, and then I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Now you can see if they, I have it set to, well, if you go up here, if you're in GoodNotes, it'll be different in whatever other app you're using. But in GoodNotes, under the paragraph, when you tap on the paragraph, you can see it says line spacing automatic, and then you have a slider with plus and minus. And that's where you would adjust how this is gonna look. Okay, so I have it set to my font size is 35 and then my line height is 46. I know, oh wait, why does it say 48? Well, it's not, it's 46, I know why. It's because I was doing something else, but that's neither here nor there. This is where you will um, adjust it to fit whatever document you're using, okay? So, then when you have that sorted out, you're going to uh, save the default font. So that way, wherever, anytime you open up and want to start typing, that is your go-to. That is the way it's going to be always. Okay. Now, um, so I have downloaded or copied this dummy text. It's lorem ipsum. If you're not familiar, it's just dummy text and put it in here already. So this is how it is set up. Now, if I wanted to change my font, okay. So everything, see how everything is set up just perfectly. If I want to change this to another font, or the font's not gonna load, come on. All right. You can see, now it, it doesn't fit right? And this goes for every font. It's not just, um, you're going to have to tweak every font to your preferences, to your needs. So that's why it's kind of important to figure out like, um, a font, <laughs> you know, or two fonts that work really well. Um, so that way you're not constantly, you know, playing around with size and spacing and whatnot. So, um, I had changed this. So now I, need to adjust the spacing so that way it looks it works there okay so now I'm still at uh, I'm using Avenir 
the font size is 35 and the paragraph spacing is 47 and so you can see now it fits absolutely beautifully okay but now um, let's just say well let's copy this information and let's put it into a GoodNotes template like one from GoodNotes okay so I'm gonna go in here so this is GoodNotes narrow ruled paper okay so I'm gonna paste this so you can see it's different so I would want to change first I'd change the size to fit mm, yeah and then I'm gonna have to change the line spacing to fit Mm, is that going to work? We might need a little bit less. Now, obviously, you can do automatic, but automatic doesn't always, it's automatic to the font you're using and the size that you've assigned to that font. It's, so that might not be automatic to the paper or the template that you're using. Okay, so for right now, this works pretty good. Um, so you would have to do that if you were to change fonts. Okay. I hope this is making sense. There is one more um, thing. Now this applies, so what we've been talking about is just like typing, paragraphs, etc. But if you use like a bulleted list, then it can be different because uh, bulleted lists or numbered lists, they also have their own spacing like inherently. And um, again, it could vary by font, so so fun. So you can see here, this is uh, my work notes. Um, <laughs> I have I have come to learn that because I use bullets a lot in my work, that um, you can see I'm still using Give Me Time. I'm using the 35 uh, font size, but it's 48 as far as line spacing. So um, just keep that in mind that you know it can vary uh, if you do different things other than just using you know blocks of text paragraphs okay so you might have to adjust that so anyway I hope this helps and again this is you know every font is different it's just you know anybody can make fonts and I mean the prof I mean it's not even for like an everyday person that makes fonts. I mean, Times New Roman's different than Arial, is different than Die Dot. So you just need to find something you want to stick with and then set that up to whatever you're going to use most. Okay. So I hope this helps you. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.